I remember how excited I was when I sat down in front of the mirror, opened a jar of white clown makeup, and began to smear it on my face. Looking back, I remember when I was a little boy, when I was watching my father perform on stage, acting in sign language. I was thrilled and motivated. I guess that's how I became interested in theater. It was not until much later that I met Marcel Marceau, the world-famous mime, and he invited me to Paris to study with him. And now, here I am, sitting in front of a mirror in a dressing room in a nightclub in an area called Backstage. I picked up the black pencil and outlined it around my face. Under my eyes and around my lip. I put some red makeup on my lips and then I began to feel a little nervous and scared because I was going to do my first performance here tonight in this big place. There were a lot of people coming to see me perform. Will I succeed or will I fail? And then suddenly the door opened and the manager, Frey was his name, stuck his head through the door and said, Now, you're on. Okay, I said. I put on the red and white striped shirt and white pants and ran out on the stage in the dark. I stood and waited for the lights to go on. And then I saw a lot of people sitting, all watching me. I went ahead and performed several different sketches, one after another. People began to enjoy them. They started to applaud. And I acted out different characters. An old lady hobbling along with a cane. A big pot-bellied man with a mustache and beard listening to his stopwatch. And a little boy hopping along with a dog on a leash. I did many different skits and finally I was done. I bowed. The people all clapped and cheered saying goodbye, I left the stage. Then the manager, Frey, came on stage and stopped the applause. It's no use to applaud. The man you just saw a while ago, he's deaf. So why applaud? Don't bother. I was in my dressing room. Someone came in and asked, do you know what he said? No, I said, what? He said it's useless to applaud because you are deaf. I was shocked. Because I'm deaf, he's telling people not to applaud. So I ran back on the stage. Hold it, hold it, I told the audience. I can't hear, yes. But I have eyes. And I can see your hands clapping. So come on, applaud. And sure enough, all the people applauded. Saying goodbye, I left the stage again. <laughs>